Man, it just sucks. This is a pain I wish no Pokemon player has to go through. Oh no, Misty wants to come with me. She wants to play Pokemon too. You can't, you can't. They don't let dogs in for challenges, I'm sorry. Actually, maybe they would. So this weekend is stacked with events. Last night, I was over at Manta Trading for their Pokemon League Challenge, followed by their back-to-back -back midnight pre-release for Temporal Forces. Temporal Forces is gonna be so much fun because it's gonna change the game. Rotation's coming, it's a set that comes with rotation, and although my favorite deck, Maridon, does lose a, uh, a lot of power level, um, I'm still excited for the future and what's in store for the trading card game. I'll have a little short form vlog of my uh, pre-release at Manta. I didn't do a challenge vlog, I'll just have the postings up, but basically uh, just a quick recap of yesterday's Manta League challenge. We had 40 players in the Masters division. I came, I believe, seventh place. I went four wins, two losses, and uh, it was a really, really fun night of Pokemon. Now today, today I'm running back the same 59 card deck, and the deck is very spicy. We're playing Maridon, but with some special technology. We got Magnazone and Magnazone V-Star. And not just that, we also have Ampharos EX. And I said same 59 cards because last night I also had the Canceling Cologne card in my deck and I'm taking it out for this uh, this tournament and for the League Cup tomorrow for a second copy of Double Turbo Energy. Now the list I'm playing today is not a list for the faint of heart. Uh, it's definitely a list that is more geared towards more uh, practiced well versed and ride on players because it is pretty teched out and the the, it's, it's it's you know it's different it's 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 built differently literally so I'm excited to see how we can do at the comfy hobbies league challenge today at 5 p.m. it's in 55 minutes so I gotta get going in just a second and today's vlog is gonna be kind of like a more of a lo-fi chill vlog I spend so much time editing and then I just I end up also just not uploading so much because I get overwhelmed with how much editing I'm behind on so I'm gonna I'm gonna tone it back on the excessive editing you could say although I don't do excessive editing but we're gonna tone it back on some of the edits uh, just to have more consistency and more content on the channel because a lot of you guys seem to enjoy the vlogs and I love making them so it's a shame when I have them on my computer for weeks they're just not getting uploaded so um, yeah more more vlogs if you like this kind of content absolutely consider subscribing um, and then for tomorrow, you're, you're gonna get this all in the same vlog, but tomorrow we have a League Cup as well. We're going all the way over to Brampton. But yeah, I just wanted to vlog. I wanted to pick up the camera. I miss you guys. I've been so inactive for the last couple of weeks. Oh, check this out. Check this out. We have this. This right here is a booster box of Series 4 play packs. So after the festivities tomorrow, after the League Cup, we're gonna be opening up all 36 of these and then I actually I actually have two prize pack series two so I might do a giveaway for one of these and keep the other uh, we actually pulled a Charizard Charizard V play stamp from um, from a prize pack series two I opened up just for like a YouTube short and then I have a couple other packs to open up shout out to the homies subscribers well Sean uh, who is also gonna be going with me to the Vancouver Regional. So Vancouver's coming up. A lot of the players, a lot of top players are using these uh, couple of weeks leading up to the Vancouver Regionals to be like practice and testing. And so for, for my approach to Vancouver is I've pretty much played the same Maridon deck for the most part with or without Ampharos for like the last couple of months. Now we're getting experimental. Now we're getting spicy. We're doing like double techs and sacrifice, sacrificing some consistency, but it seems like my deck is running really well, so maybe I'm not sacrificing consistency. We'll find out though, we'll find out. Anyways, I'm gonna have fun today. I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. It is Temporal, tem Temporal, Temporal, Temporal Forces um, pre-release weekend. So if you guys are going to any, I'd love to hear how your pre-release experiences went. I'll have a, uh, I'll have lots of Temporal Forces stuff on the channel. Lots of deck content coming soon. This is gonna be the first set where we really, really dig into deck profile content. So. If you're, if you're ready, I'm ready. Um, but yeah, we should probably get going to the tournament. So I'm going to meet you guys at Comfy Hobbies. All right, bye. Unless I, unless Misty wants to say bye too. Misty probably wants to say bye.
Okay, some really bad news. I just got the comfy hobbies and when I got the comfy, I realized my backpack was half open and my, uh, my, my like Max Grady right on deck fell out of my bag. So we're getting a no show round one loss. And uh, now I'm gonna really walk back and trace my steps and hope that my deck box is just on the sidewalk. Oh, man, oh, this sucks so much, bro. All right, well, I traced back all my steps to pretty much where I got off the bus and um, I can confirm my blinged out pretty much max rarity Mariah on deck is gone. It's it's in the lost zone now. Someone has it. I only got to play one tournament with those nice new Blastoise sleeves. All the, oh my gosh, it's so much play stamp stuff too blinged out. Like, oh. So now when I build this, now I rebuild, now I have to rebuild this Maridon deck. Uh, I'll probably just go low rarity, min rarity. Because <laughs> I don't think I can take the pain of, uh, of losing another blinged out deck again, at least for a while. I guess this could have been easily prevented if I zipped my backpack um, all the way down on one side rather than have it like split at the like the top, the two zippers at the top. Or if I just wasn't rushing, a couple misplays. Oh one to start off this tournament. <laughs> and um, yeah, I guess we're just gonna have to drop from the tournament now. Um, I don't have a tournament legal deck. I have I've lost Giratina. I could play people for fun with my Giratina deck. I might just do that to try and ease the pain. I'm actually so devastated. I'm just trying to think about it in like a positive way now. It's like, hey, at least it was my blinged out Pokemon deck and it wasn't my wallet. You know, if it was my wallet, it would be way, way worse. You know, that's a lot more issues I have to go through. I have to do multiple credit card things, IDs, gift cards are lost, a whole bunch. So I lost cards. Not my wallet, but the Pokemon card that guy always play. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, this portion of the vlog is going to be iffy, but we're going to continue this vlog tomorrow. It's going to, this is going to be one fun vlog. We're going to go to the League Cup tomorrow. I might just play Lost Tina since that's the deck I have fully play, uh, fully, fully built. And um, if it's not Tina, hopefully I can rebuild Maridon. I have a lot of the cards to rebuild it, I think. I don't think I'm missing too much to rebuild it, but man, it just sucks. This is a pain I wish no Pokemon player has to go through. If this was at like a regional event or something like that, maybe uh, get, it gets turned into the lost and found, but I'm 100% I'm sure it just fell out of my bag on the street, on the sidewalk. Man, man, this sucks. All right, well, I'm gonna go inside. We're here at Comfy now, so, uh, so yeah. Let's go inside and see what the rest of this adventure brings us. <laughs> Trying to stay positive. Try my best. Round number two just wrapped up. Uh, I was able to play with my Giratina V-Star deck because my... Uh, they hadn't gone through my deck list just yet. So we got a round one loss for being a no-show, looking for my deck. And then uh, now we're playing the Giratina V-Star deck that I had in my backpack as a backup. And we played against the homie Matan. And uh, I have a pretty good track record against Matan. So he's playing Roaring Moon EX. And he chose to go second, which is what you always do as Roaring Moon. At a rough turn one to start, nothing too crazy. I got to flower select twice. One Giratina set up on the bench. On his turn, he actually had to discard. He ended up discarding, I think, one to two of his Roaring Moons, which is very, very scary. You need to have those Roaring Moons. That's your pretty much main attacker for this deck, uh, especially against Giratina. And uh, came down to, I just had to, uh, whatchamacallit, I Roxanne him. Roxanne was a lie. He got, Pat, he got uh, Professor's Research and almost ways to win the game off of my Roxanne. Didn't need to Roxanne him, but I think you always Roxanne him um, for the most part because he had like a seven card hand. And uh, yeah, close it out in the end. So we are now 1-0 at this challenge. We're 1-1. We're 1-1. I can only get championship points if I get first place at challenges now because I have a first, a first, a first, and then a second, second, second. So we're just basically playing to try and get some store credits and the store credits will be used towards uh, building decks for the future set. I, I was going to say to build Maridon, but I have enough cards to build Maridon back at home later tonight. 
uh, when I calm myself to sleep. But I could tell I was feeling I was I was out, I was out of it. I was out of it. I forgot to get my prize cards for one of the turn because I was just so sad. Uh, but yeah, Giratina's a great deck. I still think it's one of the best decks in the game right now, if not the best deck in format. We're 1-1 one, one now. Let's see if we can win out. Let's see if we can go undefeated today. Round three is coming up soon, and there's a lot of players here. I have to double check how many masters there are, but I think I saw a little Dark Fury here. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of players. So we're gonna try and do a couple of player interviews today as well for fun. Yeah. Alright, round three coming up. Round number three just wrapped up when we played against Owen. I believe a subscriber because he also knew I played Maridon a lot and I've been explaining to everybody I lost my deck. Like I feel like a broken record. So many people now know I have my deck lost and it, it's gone. Like it's not even lost, it's just gone. Um, but uh, yeah, he was playing God of War, which is a fantastic matchup for Maridon. If I was playing Maridon, I would love to have hit it. But we played Tina into it, which is a pretty solid matchup. It's, I'd say it's like a 50-50. Uh, but I made a very, very bad misplay where I, instead of Lost Impacting, I used Star Requiem. And therefore, I had no insta-KO for the Gardevoir on the next turn, because you can only hit 280 on a full health Guardian. Gardevoir is 310 HP, as you know. So that, I guess, not even, it's a small misplay. It's a huge misplay. That basically cost me the game, because if I didn't do that, I pretty much have it in the bag. But uh, it, was a, it was a pretty rough start. I had a very scuffed beginning with Comfy and Giratina. I top decked the Giratina. And uh, I had to, my flower selecting, my one flower selecting for turn, it was between VIP Pass and Chorus. And I was like, wow, I'm getting tested right off the bat for this matchup. Um, they were able to set up and play really well. They got the Mirage step off. They played two VIPs on their turn one. And they were so rich that they only brought out three Pokemon instead of four. And uh, yeah, they had a really great game as well. I wasn't able to do the, the Roxanne pathing, unfortunately. I had to loss on away a couple of path, which is bad in the Guardian matchup. You don't want to throw away too many path. I had to throw away two, I had to throw away Roxanne. My resource management was a bit slacking, that's for sure. So uh, definitely, I, I got skill diffed. I definitely got skill diffed because uh, I just made some dumb misplays and resource management was poor, very poor on my end. And it, it can't be, it can't be in a very close matchup where it's like a 50-50. So you, you can't make those, those bad decisions. So we are now one win, two loss. I think it's gonna be six rounds today. It's usually six rounds of comfy because so many players. Uh, by the way, if you guys haven't, if you guys don't know, I don't have my, my hoodie today, but I am signed to Comfy Hobbies. I'm a sponsored competitive player for the store. So if you guys want to buy any Pokemon cards at all from Comfy, they're, uh, they got a lot of inventory. So much inventory. And then they're building out the, um, the plushy wall is going to be almost done too. It's very exciting. Very, very exciting. We're going to do a fun vlog here during the cup and uh, pre-release next weekend. So hopefully you guys stick around for that. Uh, but yeah, round four just got called up, and I was just say, as I was saying, use code Sneaker Talk at Comfy Hobby's website, and I think you can use it in store for five percent off. Again, code Sneaker Talk. It supports me, and uh, yeah, they support they support me. So if you support them, it's supporting me. It's a win-win for everybody. You're buying Pokemon cards, anyways, right? Round number four. Let's get it. No more misplays. No more dumb misplays. Round number four just wrapped up and we played another Gardevoir. That's two Gardevoirs back to back. And after what happened last game with my silly, silly, huge mistakes, I said, no more mistakes this game. I'm going to play perfectly. And that I did. I did exactly that. I played so well that I took all six prizes and they took zero prizes. I popped off. I had Avery. Avery popped off. He had to choose between Jirachi, Manaphy, Curlia, like, it was a headache. It was a brutal, brutal Avery. I'm sorry, buddy. We're, we're gonna leave his name out of this because he didn't take a single prize. All right, we're 2-2 two -two now. Uh, only lost one game, really, but I think we have two more rounds left to go. Let's uh, see if we can check in with LDF. There's a couple people I want to interview today. Here is the current meta share for this Comfy League challenge. Pretty uh, even split between Lost Tina, Lost Piles, Gardevoir, Roaring Moon, there's zero Maridon. I would have been the one Maridon. Look how little Charizards there are. Four Charizards. Maridon is a good matchup into everything. And it's like a 50-50 against Lost Tina. But it's not a bad matchup at all. But oh my god, dude. If I played Maridon today, this would have been such a free win. Oh.
round number five just went down. We played against a fellow team, Comfy member Rick, the uh, the the really great Lost Tina player. However, he was not on Giratina today. He was on this like Charizard Arceus Barrel Pidgeot pile. Kind of what I think. Well, not not nowhere as crazy as what Tord played at the recent regional, but it was like a Charizard pile essentially, and it was pretty good. Uh, it looked good, at least on paper, because he didn't take a single prize all game. Um, we took all six prizes. He took he took none. Popped off. Felt really good. So, uh, so yeah, Giratina did its thing. So we're now three two with the one loss from the from, from losing my deck. But yeah, uh, round six is coming up real soon. GG's Rick. It was a weird deck. He just he was breaking. I was breaking, and he was breaking. It was equally bricky. And then I made some dumb plays. But we we close it out. Anyways, round six is coming up real soon. Round six just wrapped up and we played against Christopher Plain. Charizard EX with Pidgeot in there along with the Radiant Zard and Choice Belt as well. So some really great picks to uh, to kind of counter Giratina decks out there. And he played really well. Um, he basically got whatever he needed every single time he needed something, which was nuts. Like researches were good to him. The Mews were good to him. Everything was, was there for him. I had to make some very tough lost zone decisions. I had to throw away quite a bit of energies. And uh, it was down to the wire. It was such a close end game. We were in overtime. And uh, on my turn, uh, I made sm slight misplays with my Sableye placement uh, of the damage counters. Uh, I could have won it if I had put extra counters onto the Rotom V and I could have taken the Rotom V for two prizes to close out instead of having to go for the Charizard where I went five uh, five damage counters on the Zard and then uh, six on the Mew to KO it and then one onto the Radiant Charizard. Also it could have been considered a misplay to um, to KO the Mew because I knew by ac by KOing Mew I would activate Counter Catcher and uh, he pretty much had everything he needed. He was able to Arvin for the counter catcher. At the end of the game, by a very last turn, it came down to me needing to play Roxanne, and I had a pretty thin deck. I had maybe like 15, 20 cards in deck. I had to play Roxanne, and I win the game right then and there if I, if I uh, draw Mirage Gate, but not the Grass Energy. So I drew the Mirage Gate, but I also drew the grass energy, meaning I can't attach twice per turn, so I wasn't able to knock out the Charizard. So Christopher took it in the end, knocking out my. Well, I didn't. I didn't. Uh, I scooped before he could knock me out, but yeah, Christopher GG's. Our final record for this first tournament of the vlog at, at Comfy for their league challenge was three three. Again, one loss was because I lost my deck. That's the most painful loss I'll have, I think, all year long. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, we're gonna check in with some of the homies and see how their tournaments run, how the tournaments ran, how it all went down. Let's uh, check in with the homies. So Brian, tell me about your tournament, what deck you played, and uh, how it all went down. All right, so I played Guardi. My first round was against Charizard. It was a pretty rough matchup in like the early stages, but then at the very end, my opponent benched mm -hmm. Radiant Charizard, so I uh, capitalized on that with Counter Catcher up the Radiant Charizard, and then I used Scream Tail mm -hmm. to just wipe out their board completely. Dang, that's evil. That's <laughs> evil. Have you done that before? Have, is this a practice attack you've done, or what? No, it was just the first time. Oh, so now you have that in your arsenal yeah, for the future. I just saw his discard. I was like, there's no switch. There's one switch in here. And I was like, try some players play one switch. So. Counter catcher. Yep. And good luck from there. Nice. Uh, how, what was your final record for today? 5-1. Five, 5-1. One. Five, one. And what deck exactly did you play? Was it Gardevoir with VIPs in there? Yeah, with VIPs. Nice. And uh, so what was your placement? You got first place for juniors today or what? Yeah, first place for juniors, all around fourth place. Okay, nice. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. What do you get for your prizing here? Some play packs and the Pikachu. I know that you've been grinding this season for Worlds. How close are you to your Worlds invite or do you have it already? I already have it, so I'm just trying for a stipend. Good luck in the, the cup tomorrow. I'll see you there, maybe interview you then. Yeah. We'll see what goes down. Catch you around. Yeah. Here are the standings. Our final results is 3-3. Three, three. 
<laughs> They're doing the uh, the raffle right now at the end of the day. Lots of people here, so uh, yeah, who's gonna win some prizes? Oh, I was so close, so close. <laughs> we have a little dark fury. LDF, Yo. Matt, how was your tournament today? Tell me about it. So yeah, I uh, got, got top eight. The league challenge played Moon today. Moon? I played, yeah, we, we on Moon. I uh, played the top eight list from uh, the Utrecht special event, but I added in a bravery charm. I cut a shoe for a bravery charm. Essentially, the bravery charm is there to like fill in the gap between not having a capsule. The list doesn't play capsule. I didn't like that. It almost won me a game against Charizard because I forced the opponent to attack with Charizard EX, and then I just needed to hit a combo like to knock it out. And then, unfortunately, I whiffed the knockout for game. Um, but I ended up getting top eight. I went four and two, uh, lost to Zard in a really close set, and then I lost to Kyogre Dragonite, which is like arguably your worst matchup because Dragonite and Kyogre like just kind of destroy your deck. I ended up playing against Mew, uh, Donk to Tina. The deck's really fun to play. It's just kind of a no-brain, just kind of Pokemon catcher, flip head, yeah. games over type deck. Uh, would I play to Vancouver is maybe the main question. Mm. Probably not. I'm I'm a Maridon guy right now. Okay, you love to see it. You got the yellow too. You got to represent Team Maridon. Uh, which deck is easier, do you think? Maridon or Roaring Moon? Probably Roaring Moon. Okay. I think I'd agree with you too, honestly. Yeah, Maridon actually has like a lot of really cool lines you can make with like Iron Hands and Raikou and stuff. Whereas Roaring Moon is like very straightforward. You just like hope the flip heads on catcher and just let me put a bunch of energy in play. It's a pretty, pretty yeah. easy deck. Probably you see the, the you see the threats on the board as yeah. they're not going to magically appear from like a tandem unit or anything like that. Exactly. Yeah. Are you going to play Roaring Moon again in the future or uh, post rotation? You think Moon will have well, any, any love? I don't know if I'd play it again, yeah. but Roaring Moon single prize, the ancient box deck. So I was playing around that today yeah. off of two pre-releases I went to. I was able to build the entire deck. Uh, Awakening Drum and all. It was actually really hard to get the moons, but I was able to find four people who were nice enough to like make deals to trade them and stuff. And I've tested the ancient box deck so far. Mm -hmm. Feels pretty good. Being able to like swarm the board with Coridon, Fluttermane, Roaring Moon is really good. I'm testing the deck a bit. My main issue with the deck is that it's really bricky um, in the early game because you're relying on like Sato's and Explorer's Guidance, but it is a really fun deck to play. And right now, it's one of my favorite decks in the new format. Okay, okay. Yeah. And uh, new sets coming out, you know, Temporal Forces in two weeks. You're you're not coming to Vancouver to grind out content, so tell the Sneaker Talk family what they can expect on your channel come Temporal Forces real quick. Tell me about it. New decks and live streams. I'm gonna, I haven't been streaming as much recently, uh, but when Temporal Forces comes out, I'm going to get back into the stream grind. and. Daily content on the channel. Every day I'm going to be posting a new deck video on one of the new decks that comes out in the new set, which I'm just super excited for. There we go. Subscribe to LDF. Let's get him to yeah. 100K by the end of the year. Appreciate I see that, bro. All right, catch you on, bro. See ya. Well, 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 what do we have here? Hmm. I think this is Nicole's. Let's check in with her. Hi. Hi. So, first off, you got this binder right here. Yes. It's a from pretty Comfy nice hobbies. From Comfy Hobbies. Really yeah. nice binder. I got a sneak peek of it the other day. Right. Can you show me the first two pages? Okay. And then if they like what they see, we'll get them to uh, we'll get a like goal going. If you can hit 400 thumbs up, and if you guys want to follow Nicole on Instagram too, mm -hmm. uh, we will showcase her whole binder because it's actually insane. What are your favorites from this uh, Galarian Gallery? From this one? Yeah. I actually like these two. They oh, look funny. okay. What's your least favorite? My least favorite? Yeah. Probably Toxicity. Damn, that's toxic. I can't believe you. Bruh. Wow. Because wow. he's toxic. Sure, you got a ditto page. Let's see your ditto page. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Why do you like ditto? What, what is it with Ditto? It's just a blob and a face. <laughs> yeah, <everyone's> Ditto me. <laughs> Ditto's everywhere. Yeah. And uh, you could have you could have saved my life today. I We're know. Gonna let's talk about that for a second. <laughs> this girl, she saw me. She was driving with Josh to to like get some food from the mall. Yeah. At they Center Point Mall. at Center Point Mall. They saw me on the sidewalk about to cross the street, and she thought about inviting me to get into the car. Had I done that, I would have never lost my deck. Bro. So, we can all blame Nicole in the comments down below. Say thanks, Nicole, in the comments. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing. But yeah, what happened, man? Like, well, I, I told Josh, look, it's it's Christian, yeah. we should pick him up. And he could grab food with us, because I was going to Jollibee at Centerpoint. Oh my gosh. But 
But then it was like an awkward turn and it, we didn't want to stop traffic. So we're like, oh, I'll just wave high and roll down the window. <laughs> I like looked up yeah. at the perfect time too because I had music going so I wouldn't yeah. have noticed. Dang. Yeah, that's okay. So this is all Nicole's fault, but it's okay. Let's get this video yeah, to let's, fault, let's do 500 yeah. likes. We'll do the binder reveal. Like I think people up. will love it. And subscribe. Uh, yeah. follow, subscribe, all that good stuff. All right, bye. I hate you. <laughs> Misty, I need you to cheer me up. Okay. Oh, okay. That, okay. You're protecting your baby. Here you go. <laughs> yes. I love you. Oh, belly rub. Oh, oh it's God. the belly rubs for me. It's the belly rubs. All right, it is tournament number two today. We're going to Brampton for the League Cup. I'm joined by three of my Pokemon pals. We have, well, Sergio, the Shun Pal legend. You running Iron Hands today or not? Iron Hands. He always has the hands on him. I have hands on me too today with my rebuilt Maridon deck with Min Rarity. And I think Sergio's contributing the Mareeps. Yes. All right, we got the Mareeps in the bag. Funnily enough, all I needed was two Mareeps to complete the deck. So I had everything to rebuild it. Very happy about that. We also have the homie Felix, who was uh, the winner of the Comfy Challenge yesterday. Felix, what deck you playing today, what's man? Up? <laughs> what's up? What's up? What deck you playing? I'm playing Gardevoir. Gardevoir with VIP or no VIP? Of course. VIP. VIP and then Calvin. For VIP, Calvin, what deck are you playing today? I'm playing Tina V Star. Tina V Star? Yeah. You never play that. It's not, well, it's the last pile. There's Comfy in it. Yeah. So you, yeah. It's gonna be fun. You got how many paths? Three or four? I think three. Three? Okay. Three. So it's not as scary, but it's still scary. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, we're gonna catch you guys there. We got some breakfast. I gotta write my deck list in the car again, and I'm gonna make sure I never lose my deck ever again. We're at Dragon's World right now, and we have our packs for entry, so I figured we'd open them with you guys right now. We got two packs of Paradox Rift and a prize pack Series 4. So let's see what we can get. Jack's opening up some packs right now. Let's see what everybody gets. And Sergio, Sergio said I could open up his too, so let's see what everybody gets. Martina, ooh. Ooh. Oh, nice. nice. Two fuller trainers, not too bad. All right, on to Jack's play pack series four. Here we go. Bravery Charm, goaded. Okay, Jet. Research, pal pad. Oh, Sergio. Sergio. Why do you want for that? All right, I'll feel it. Let's see what you get, man. Let's see what you get. The pal pad is good, though. Yeah, the pal pad is actually huge. I want so many good stuff. Same. Why do you want for that? Bomber? Yo, that's actually pretty good. That, that's good post rotation. What, what, what just went down? We got a trade here. We got Sergio's Lugia V play stamp in exchange for Jack's Shen Pal. Let's see it. Oh, okay. Not bad, not bad. On to Felix's play pack now. Will he get Shen Pal too? Is everybody gonna get Shen Pal today? Oh, Lugia V Star. Okay, okay, not bad. <laughs> All right, now I got three packs. So let's see what we can get. We'll do the Paradox Rifts first. Everyone's getting really good pulls, though. I hope I can get something decent. Parasol Lady, Porygon, Octillery, Golbat, Wug Trio, Techno Radar, really good. Wiglet with the Vibration Attack. Oh, very cool. Vanillish. That's really, really nice artwork. And a Volcanion. Something good. Something good. Trubbish, Gimmigool, Wiglet, Jirachi, Ancient Booster Energy Capsule, Krusty the Crab, and Zekrom. Light Pack Series 4, here we go. Letter of Encouragement. All right, it's good for my Blastoise deck at least. Curlia, bad card. Archaeops, bad card. Ooh, Luminous Energy, not too bad. Ooh, and Worker. Okay, okay. Ooh, a nice little swirl there too. Sergio's blessing me right now with my sheep that I need, and he's also letting me open up his pack. So let's open up Sergio's packs now. All right, Obsidian Flames, Vulpix, Heatmore, Thunderous. <laughs> You're so generous, thank you, Sergio. All right, next one. We got Flamigo, Oregon, 
Turo Scenario, Tinkatuff, Parasol Lady, and Melotic. Ugh. This is gonna be a good one, I can tell. I, I can tell you this is gonna be a good one. One more Shen Pao for Sergio. He gets two in one day. He doesn't have to trade me for mine, unless he wants to run three. We got Armor Rouge, Curly a Hollow, and not Shen Pao. Bravery Charm. A little trade so I can actually play the Pokemon game. We're trading off our water energy to Sergio, and Sergio is blessing me with these Mareep. Hollow Fluffy here, and the Bravery Charm is the main thing. And I got another stamp one. Pretty cool. Thank you, Sergio. All right, the tournament is going to be starting in about five minutes. We'll see you guys for round number one. All right, so round one just wrapped up against Harry, and uh, I forgot what deck he played. It punished me in the end. I know what deck he plays. He plays Mew VMAX, and I knew that. But my brain was off going into the coin toss, not realizing who it was, so I'll usually go blind second. And against Mew VMAX, as Maridon, you always want to go first. And uh, it was a very close game. It went down to overtime. Hit, hit the tablets when he needed them. He hit the cram heads when he needed them. And uh, I just couldn't evolve my Flappies in time. They stayed as Mareep all game, which felt really, really bad. Those Flappies are so, so important in that matchup. So not being able to recharge my attackers was painful. Close round one loss. Hopefully we can bounce back and win it out to make it in the top eight cut. And the cup here is stacked. There's a lot of insanely talented players here, but that's, that's how it goes in the greater Toronto area. So. Here we go, round two. Let's see if we can bounce back after that loss right here. Round number two for the cup is done. We played against Alan Zhu, one of the better Gardevoir players in Toronto. He started Zacian V, and I was like, ooh, this is gonna be a, a pretty nice start. I'm excited for this. I started, I started Magnezone? I think I started Magnezone. It was not the greatest start. Uh, I got a really great setup. I got the double floppies out there eventually. I got the Magnezone V-Star on the field as well. Uh, I don't think I ended up uh, using Sealstone. Yeah, I didn't use Sealstone. He put that on the Manaphy pretty quickly too. Really close game. Came down to the final prizes by the end of it. And I prized my one Zapdos in the deck. I couldn't get it all game. The Zapdos is what I needed to win the game. And I just couldn't get it out of the prizes in time. So he took the win over me. And it's painful, you know. My deck has so much Gardevoir hate in it as well. We got the Magnezones, we got the Iron Hands. I didn't get to take any bonus prizes this, this game, so it's kind of unfortunate. Uh, but Alan is probably one of the better Gardevoir players in the GTA without a doubt, so I can't be too upset. We'll keep playing, get some more practice in for Vancouver, because this list, I'm still really testing it out to, to, you know, work it out for Vancouver. Do I want the Magnezone? Do I want the Iron Hand? Uh, do I want the Double DTE? Uh, all right. Well, round three is coming up. Round number three just wrapped up, and we played against the homie Eric. And Eric was playing, you saw it there, that was sick. Mewtwo V Union. I, I was excited when I saw all the Guardy stuff, but then when I saw a Mewtwo V Union, I was like, oh, this guy's cooking something, and it's something really spicy. It was real close. I ended up taking. Uh, Three prizes off of his Luminion V. I amp you very much on that. Turn one, felt amazing, and I'm like, okay. If I kill Luminion and I get rid of Mewtwo V Union, that's the only knockouts I need to do. And he used a size, uh, size explosion attack, which is nasty. He put 16 damage counters on your opponent's side of the field. He KOs my Flaffy, KOs my Mareep, and then, uh, and then yeah, I, I had a very slim chance at winning at the very end of the game. I restarted, and I'm like, all right, I have to hit very specific cards here to win. It has to, one of them has to be a generator and hits, and then I have to uh, to promote my Raikou Fleetfoot, and the Fleetfoot has to hit a boss for my Pokemon catcher. And no, no luck. But now, now I'm thinking about, uh, I have like, I have 59 cards pretty much laid, laid out for this deck. I have two Nest Balls I'm testing for consistency. I'm thinking I can cut a Nest Ball, and there's some options I'm thinking about. I'm thinking about Hisui and Heavy Ball. I'm thinking about uh, a Counter Catcher. And uh, those are the main two that I really can, or a, a second Iron Hands. So yeah, those are the three. We're 03, we might not play out the rest of the tournament, but they are doing a pre-release. So we might do a pre-release event here. We'll see how I'm feeling. We'll, we'll see in just a, in a moment or so, but we're 03 right now, so feels pretty bad. But hey, it's still fun. The boys, I think some of the boys are doing okay. We'll see what goes down though. All right, round number four is about to start. Well, it's starting right now, and my opponent, Evan, he left and he didn't drop, so we said bye. And now I don't have an opponent to practice against for round number four. So we get the win, but 
I guess we got a lunch break now. I am getting pretty hungry. Hopefully I'll have an opponent for round five. <laughs> Crossing my fingers. I'd like to get some more practice in. We have two packs of brilliant stars. Let's open them up and we'll do a prize pack series four right after. Can we pull a Charizard or something very shiny from here? We're not gonna do a card trick since I kind of forgot to do it already. We got Milstery, Purloin. Oh, Umbreon, let's go, that's huge. And an Agron VMAX. That's a double banger right there. Pack number two. Can we beat that first pack? That was kind of a sick pack. All right, next one, next one. We got Electabuzz, Halucha, Buizel, Gibble, Trapnich, Castform. Ooh, Cynthia's Ambition. Yo, these packs are insane. What? And a V-Star marker? Bruh. <laughs> that was a pretty good three packs. Prize pack series four. Here we go. Let's pull that Charizard EX out of this one. The last one was insane. All right, we got Reversal Energy, Trekking Shoes, Armor Rouge, ooh, Drifloon, okay. And a Artisan, not too bad. All right, round number five just wrapped up and we played against the homie Sergio. And uh, fun fact about Sergio, he's played against everybody in our car, all three of us. So what is what are the odds of that? That's crazy. Um, but yeah, you guys know he's playing Shen Pao and Shen Pao is a pretty solid matchup for me. Um, he won the Quintos, went first and didn't have a very big turn. Uh, he set up the Shen Pao on the active, or no, he had, yeah, he had Shen Pao on the active, he had Iron Bundle and one little baby Baxcalibur, or whatever the small one is. I don't play Shampoo, but the small thing. I did Ampy very much three turns in a row. Yeah, we won. But uh, me winning does nothing, so we just gave Sergio the win uh, at the end of the day because he might be able to potentially get top eight if he gets lucky. So, because me winning just does nothing. So, um, yeah, it was fun. The deck worked flawlessly. It went beautiful, beautiful. Like, I got the deck right here. It's, it's chilling. Um, but yeah, we now have to figure out what do I want to cut for this extra nest ball? Do I put in some other cards? Also, Lost Vacuum is cuttable as well. That's an option. If you guys enjoy tournament vlogs like this, of course, subscribe. Hit that like button, like button down below. Comment down below, RIP Maridon, because we did lose my deck in this vlog. And uh, yeah, if you guys want to hang out some more, click on screen to watch another tournament vlog or check out the playlist, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.